be together across. And we'll come to that in a minute. And we'll do Valentine. So give yourselves a little breath. Think about what you're going to do. The only difference about a corner dance is you don't do a half pay, but you do a whole pay as a figure. And the danger you have to remember there is that you don't do the in and out of the furry paper halfway through, you just go half pay, half pay back. And you invert the set. But you go back to where you originally were because you already dropped. You, you, at one point you crossed in the corner. So it's, it's, a, uh, it's confusing in that, in that respect. You don't always end up in the same place as you started. So it's a simple, it's a simple standard Valentine, Valentine figure and the chorus. And the chorus would be open side step right, open side step left, and then um, something, then something, and then pass with your opposites around the face with two double steps, double step right, double step left, and then back with step, hop, step, hop, feet together, jump, which the next corner will join in with. So it's pretty simple. Um, are we up for it? Yeah. Yeah. So let's just walk through the first chorus. Why? 
watching this team do this since about 19, 1993, and it's a great tradition to dance, but when you're standing outside looking, it all looks exactly the same, because you're all doing the same hand movements. It's the same hand movements with the back steps, the same with the cake, the same with the throat. So it's a chance to have this very same look from the outside. So, you know, it really is the same hand movement for those three things. I think it's the biggest problem with the tradition, frankly. There is not enough contrast somewhere. It's a bit better with the slow than that. Is your fourie uh, step change change yeah. or step change? Step change, yeah. Right. Sorry, I didn't actually serve yeah. I'm so used to the blocks. So is that alternative? Right. Yes, alternative. Right. Right. Okay. So that's the first. The first chorus is wide. The second chorus is four playing tapers. Third chorus is two furry tapers. Followed by a cross and turn. The last one is the cross. It's basically right back, together, jump, and you have to be close, and then you have to get behind them to do the second one.
You've got to pass left shoulder because the second one is the right toe back. I'm going to turn it up. Right shoulder. Okay. 
last few days of last week and hopefully on Monday, they'll all be left popping on from the doorsteps of every Morris sign in the Federation. Uh, including those who are actually going and including those who are not perhaps on the slot. Now in the club square we have 25 teams going. Now, I have a list of the teams who are going if you want to look at them. Um, we have within that 25 teams we have 37 slots to fill between those 25 teams. 
Right, stop talking about it. Back my shell. Stop talking about it. Um, first of all, an, an apology to Trevor. We've got this in, but there's an apology to Trevor. It, this is billed as, I think, dances for odd numbers. I see it as Cotswold dances for odd numbers. <laughs> and he's got a knife in his hand. Okay. Um, how many of you actually. I accept his apology to Cotswold because I don't think it's real, Laura. How many of you have done, how many dance with your sides, dance, dances that are for fewer than six people? Two seconds only. I admit, I started off live dancing a couple of hours. But you saw the light. Oh, I saw the light. <laughs> right, okay, it seems to me that there are a number of... Do you actually mean unusual numbers? I take it as unusual. Although, do you want to start with more? Uh, although it may surprise you by what I mean by that. Um, <laughs> uh, it seems to me that there are a number of reasons for uh, doing dances with fewer than six. Uh, some of them are poor reasons, uh, and some of them are good. Um, when Dan's on tour, for example, started doing dances for four dancers and for three dancers because we couldn't get enough people to practice if we were practicing in Kent, for example, we couldn't get the extra people there and so on. And it strikes me that if you get into that, from my present perspective, if you get into that kind of situation and you want to continue dancing together, you'll be a duty if you're that small in numbers. The reason I said, why I like, for Metal so why we do some... Um, short number dances is for, for variety, really, to get more space in the set and it gives you um, contrast. Um, the other thing I think we'll concentrate on today, because we just haven't got time for everything, is um, contrast within your main tradition. If you're prepared to do a short number dance and you are open to anything, that's great. Three man jigs, two man jigs, five person reels, whatever you want to do, that's fine by me. As long as you're happy with it and you feel comfortable. But what I think um, I wanted to concentrate on this afternoon is reducing numbers and keeping the feeling of the tradition that you're doing. I don't want to teach any traditions because it's going to slow us down. Uh, watching you on Friday night, you're all obviously very talented. Um, well, be, no, no, um, is, would everyone be happy at some stage in the afternoon with a tradition with hook legs? If you're not happy with hook legs, it could be a galley. You were all doing galleys on Friday night. These, these traditions have a, one massive advantage in short-handed dances, we'll, we'll come to. So, I think we'll start with dances for five. That's to say, four dancers and a musician. <laughs> um, uh, because they are the simplest. Can, can we all get into groups of four? Because this is so trivial. So we'll leave the musicians <laughs>
except for K, which either doesn't require adjustment in that you can just dance a hay as if middles aren't there, which is easy enough, you can all walk that, and it just becomes a fairly trivial sort of movement. Depends which hay we do. Oh. Yeah, depends which hay. We dance around each other. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, if you're going to, personally, I would say if you're going to do that, put a point of interest in, if, you, if any of you remember what we were doing on Friday night, the hay for Ascot. Do, do enough people remember that? Friday night. Friday night. Two bottles of vodka away. Um, I'm turning over. I'm doing some like a Does anyone remember it? Well, actually, well, other than that, we remember it. We do a four. Well, it doesn't matter. Do you, do you remember that you just? Should we just dance? You just well, dance from back here. You're basically doing two double steps round and backing into place. Yeah. Now, one point there that Downs always used to do was you do your two steps round, and as you do, you make sure you you make sure you're in one. Yeah. This doesn't look right. And you get to there for the up. And that's really about the only thing you can do. Not interested in that too much. Anyone could do that. Do you all agree that all of this is fairly trivial? Okay. What we look at is a hook leg um, thing that is. Um, any, how many? Do any of you know Bledington? Can we have four people who dance Bledington? Because I don't really. But can we? Um, or anything with a hook leg or a gammy where you do a hook or gammy in? We're going to do a dance. The dance I'm going to get you doing is one where um, uh, there's a hook into a half hay. And, oh, yeah, and usually you kind of hook out and you go into a normal half hay. What I want to try is, and we used to do this so it should work, is that we all hook in. So. Um, one and, well, let's call it four. I mean, her, four. That's <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean. I'll go to hook left four onto the right leg. And you're going to hook left. Now, you two stay out of it for a while, but you hook left. And then that means that we're going to start left foot for our double steps and go into a reel. Right? So we're going to hook and pass right shoulder. You are going to start on that for our first double step. You are going to double step right foot and then join the reel. You hooked in. You hooked in and then you join our reel. Just hook in. And the nice thing about it, and you get into a um, just a reel for nice thing about a hook leg tradition, of course, is you can you have you just have this opportunity to go from lines to whatever, and so you just hook to your opposite. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Try to it. So it's just so one, two, one, two, three, four. We hook and then double step. Oh, right, right. Can we? The hook is meant to get you more or less into, pretty much into a line. No, no, in line. Pretty much. Right. Can we try again? So one, two, three, four, hook. One, two. Yes. You could either you could either then repeat it back to place if you wanted to, or have it started by the other pair. Who cares? Do you want to watch? try that? So the basic thing is, you hook, you hook in, no you don't turn away, you've got time. You hook into the middle of the set, so that, right, can we make it, can we identify, one and four are going to hook on, onto their right foot. Step into the hook onto your right foot. The others are going to hook stepping onto their left foot and form the line. Right. 
back. This was going to be great. Like four people in there, what they're doing? Okay. <laughs> Somebody there? Okay, okay. Okay, so. Oh, you're going to Okay, I'll come here. Right, so one and four hook onto their right feet. Two, meanwhile, two and onto, onto the left. You step onto your right and hook. Meanwhile, the others step onto their left and hook. They pass left shoulders, right shoulders. We pass left passing, and then we hook to our place. And you should be on the natural foot of that hook. Which is the other foot. <laughs> if we do it at sound speed, then. Well, you don't have to reverse it. One, two, yeah. So, so do the two. Do the two.
slow. Whatever you're happy with, I'm not interested in quite what we're doing, it's just a structure. So it could be an RTB back together, paper, paper, and back, and then second corner, then everyone yeah, left. Individual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Yeah. 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 
hand five, I suppose it is, hooks back as usual, but slightly to the, to the outwards. The one in the middle does a fudge to hook out that way.
So five and four. One, two, three, four. And then one with four.
sometime in the weekend, he says an opportunity for some invention. So, <laughs> you have, what should we give you? Quarter of an hour? In which to either cut, you can do a three, a four, a five, I don't think it's two. Three, four, five, seven, not six, not six, whatever, not six. Um, no, whatever you like. Uh, the um, what we got is June.
just show us what's happening. Boom sticks.
should get a nice stretch down your thigh.